So we were interested in determining uh, whether or not some biomarkers that were previously defined as being associated with an increased likelihood of response uh, with atezolizumab uh, in phase two studies, in single arm phase two studies, one, were validated in another data set, and two, uh, conferred predictive rather than prognostic information given now that we have randomized data. So we looked at this in the Inferior 130 study, and probably one of the most interesting findings from that study was that uh, other investigators have previously shown uh, that tumor mutational burden and pd one expression are not well correlated with one another and convey independent predictive or prognostic information. So we wanted to look at that subset of patients. That was about 15% of patients in the Invigor 130 study. And if you looked at patients with both uh, high tumor mutational burden and high pd one expression, uh, randomized to atezolizumab versus chemotherapy, the hazard ratio for survival and favor of benefit with atezolizumab was 0.22. So this is exploratory data. It was not pre-specified, but it is from a randomized study. Uh, and it suggests that there might be a subset of patients who benefit tremendously from immune checkpoint blockade rather than initial chemotherapy.